Today I'm going to do a demonstration showing a, an air pot dash pot and the differences uh, between what we call push damping and pull damping. Um, so first, before I show the demonstrator, I'm going to just show what it, the dash pot looks like outside the demonstrator. And what we have here is a cylinder with a very low friction graphite piston that you can see there. And the cylinder's glass, it's a little hard to to see it. And on the end of the cylinder we have a, a, a mount, a metal mount, that, that houses a valve and there's the adjusting screw for the valve on, on the top. Um, there's a rod attached to the piston and in this demonstration the rod's going to be attached to a weight falling by gravity. Um, here's the demonstrator and inside of this demonstrator, it's a little hard to see, is this same dash pot um, that I just showed mounted underneath this weight and you can see the piston moving right there here's the mass it's about 400 grams so when I release uh, the mass uh, you know gravity will cause it to fall and this is what we call pull, uh, push damping where the piston will compress air and uh, air will escape through the valve at the start of the stroke, you can see that the motion is a, is a little bit quicker and there's a little bouncing on an air column. And that's because air is compressible, so we need to build up enough pressure to, in, order, in order to resist the, uh, uh, the weight. Um, so it still lands at a, at a nice slow velocity. If we were to flip this over and look at a pull dash pot, so now as the mass is falling, uh, the rod is extending on the dash pot and the piston's moving away from the valve and in that direction we're creating a partial vacuum and the advantage of that is that the pressure differential builds much quicker and we get damping almost right away so when I let go and I'll do it again let go of the mass we get damping right at the start of the stroke slow smooth motion throughout the stroke so both damping directions are very useful um, and you get approximately equal damping in both directions, except at the start of the stroke. And that, that effect, what we call the air spring, is, is much less of an effect um, when you're using smaller weights for a particular dash pot. For example, if we had a, a 50 gram mass instead of a 400 gram, you might not notice the, the air spring effect. Now I've, I've adjusted the damping, I've turned it way down. There's very little damping here, um, and uh, in the push damping direction. So with the same weight, with reduced damping, there's still the air spring, but it happens so fast you don't see it. Um, and that's what I wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching.